All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a big day today. We're going to pull and plow these fields together and make one field. We're going to lose a road, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm just going to plow the sections. Like, these fields don't actually need to be plowed. So I'm just going to plow the sections that are in between the fields, and then we'll cultivate it all together. We don't have to plow the whole field. I'm just double-checking and making sure none of them say that they need plowing, so they don't. Right down there in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see the field info that tells us if these fields need to be plowed or not, and none of them do. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up the help menu, which is not coming up for some reason. What the heck? I don't know why that's not working, but... Uh, help window on. I don't remember what button it is to um, say it to uh, turn the. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I don't remember what button it is to turn the create fields button on. Usually the plows do not create fields unless you specify that you want it to create a field. So we're going to drop that. And I need to find the weight. What do I do with the weight? There it is up front. So Y is allow create fields. Right now it's turned off. So you can watch here. If you have it turned off, this is what happens. If I go to plow, let's see, fold plow A. Um, just to give you one run so you can see. I'm going to lower the weight. Oh, no, I mean, I'm going to lift the weight. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to lower the plow. And allow create fields is off. Notice how the fields are not disappearing. Just the just the field that's already created is getting plowed. Yeah. So if I turn that on, this would get cut, and it would be you'd have a big gash in your grass here. So we're gonna avoid doing that. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I've now it says limit to fields. I've now selected it so that it is creating fields. And we're gonna come right here and watch what happens to the grass. Voila, we're merging fields. There we go. And it cut in a little bit, but it's all right. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. Uh, and I can turn that help menu back off. And there, now F1 worked. That was weird. It didn't work before. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to create this field here. Good. And I'm going to go around again just one more time uh, to make it wide enough. Because what, what we're going to do is then we're going to run back and forth once it's wide enough. So we're gonna plot this down here and create this field. So what we do is come over here now, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other end, but we can start doing this one. And there you go. So now we're making this all one field. And I'm going to do the same thing over with that other field out there ahead of us. We're going to connect that to these fields, and we'll have 24, 25, and 26 will become one. <laughs> uh, the numbers will stay the same on the map. The map does not update that. Uh, the fact that you've done this. The map will just stay the same, so don't get all bummed out that it didn't change. Um, that just, it doesn't. So I'm going to say, for our first couple rounds, we'll probably do a, a soybean. Um, I could see doing uh, canola, because we need to make some income here uh, and save some money. Uh, and once we get the money together to buy, like, horses or maybe another larger piece of property, um, you know, so that we can start growing the farm. But you can see it's an organic process. Now, once again, we could just take a loan out and max it out. And I think with this farm we can get a $500,000 loan, but it might be more like eight. So we could take quite a bit of money out, but then you're paying interest and you got to pay it back. So you pay interest every day, if, even if you don't pay the loan off at all. So it's a good idea to get those paid off so that you're not, like, falling down a hill 
with your finances. Uh, it's not impossible to survive with a loan, but I, I'd like to teach you guys how to do it without, you know, taking loans out. Uh, but once again, they are there if you need them. If you find all of a sudden, like, oh, my gosh, I really need this piece of equipment, you know. But it, organic growth is always best because then you're making a profit instead of losing money or paying it, paying the man. So we get to keep the money here. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get this finished. And when I go to do the next field, I'll catch up with you. I'm going to work on this for a couple minutes here. All right. So we finished this section up. And now we're going to go ahead and move over to the other side here. We're going to break on through to the other side. Sorry. If you're new to the channel, I apologize now. I do sometimes sing in my videos, and I'm not very good. I don't know why I do. This is kind of weird. Misogynistic. Uh, <laughs> no, that, mean, that means something totally different. Sorry. Uh, all right, so we're going to do this, and that should be good. And then, actually, if I want the fields to match... I can actually run down here and we'll extend the field out a little bit all the way so that we have a nice straight line, hopefully. Though I am not one to make nice straight lines. I usually screw the lines up, so we'll see how this goes. But I'm trying to make it nice and straight by using the nose of the tractor visually to keep my track straight. And so hopefully we did good. I have no idea if we did or not. There we go. That's one. We'll come down on this side here. It looks pretty straight. But you can hear the. We killed the road. Now there is a roller that you can rent in game to repair anything that you've done. Look, if you're like, oh gosh, I didn't want to erase that road, you can always go back with the roller and restore it. So. So, yeah. So, yeah, there is that. And we'll do one more pass at the other end. And it's just a matter of erasing the grass in between. And we'll have our field all prepped. We still got a bunch of stuff to bring home from the shop, too. But we'll bring it home as we need it. So for our first crop, I think we're going for our first crop. For, for our first crop, uh, we're going to grow some stuff. And maybe some, uh, I don't know, uh, sorghum and cannoli. I don't know. I don't I don't even know what to grow. Uh no, seriously. In all seriousness, we're going to we're going to grow soybeans. Um, cuz those are worth a lot of money. We could also do some canola, but soybeans are kind of like up in value right now, so we'll do those. So all right, I'm going to finish this patch off. I'll be back. I'm going to erase the road forever. And I'll return. All right, so we finished this up. Now, one thing you're going to notice, when you plow a section of field and create a new field, you're going to run into this issue. You see at the bottom there on the field info, what does it say? It says, oh, I need lime. Now, if I scoot over here where the field originally was, I don't need lime. But in all the places that I've created, it needs lime. So we're going to have to add lime to the field to make it 100% productive. I probably will just do all the fields so that they're in sync and they need it at once because we have to rent a pretty large piece of equipment to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, plow back to the shop. We're going to rent what we need, and then we'll come back and cultivate after that. I'm gonna, eh, I want to add the lime before I cultivate because in, in real life you would cultivate or plow the lime into the ground. So um, that's what we're going to need to do. 
And I think if you fold it, if you flip this over, no. Oh boy, we almost just created a new field. Hold on, what am I doing? Oh, well, whatever. I'll be back. All right, so we're arriving at the shop, and we're going to need to rent another piece of equipment, which it's frustrating that we have to do this, but we're going to try to keep it as cheap as possible. There's all of our stuff sitting out in the sun. So the first thing I'm going to do is return this. You don't have to bring it to the shop. You can return it through the menus, but I'm going to return it like this just because we're here. I'm going to come up anyway. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to press A, return. There we go. So we return the plow. Definitely got our money's worth out of that. And we're going to go up to the top here, and I need to rent something else. So we've got this fertilizer. Either of these will work. Um, I usually get this one because it's cheaper. Well, it's going to be about $1,000 rent. Uh, it is worth doing the extension. Uh, not the extension, I'm sorry. The spreading, the spreading discs are worth it. Because even though it makes the rental more expensive by $400, it spreads much further, and it's so it's much more efficient. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've leased that. And now we need to go get some lime. You can either buy it here in bags... But it's much easier to get it from the lime station. So I'll show you where that is on this map. We're going to head down to the to the lime station and get some lime. There's one up on top of the hill to our right. And there's also one over here at the Pacific Grain Delivery System thingy. And since I'm such a goo driver, I just crash that light. Um, so. I got to find the thing that delivers it. There's a, there it is. There's a silo that you get it from. Oh, shoot, I missed the driveway. Boink, boink, boink. Uh, okay, here it is. Arthurized vehicles only. That sounds like me. Oh, good. And I don't know how much I'm going to fill up with. It takes quite a bit to do your field, so we might as well fill it up all the way. We can always unload this uh, at our farm and keep it there, like the excess. But I have a feeling if I do all the fields, and I'm going to do all the fields... Um, that we should fill it up all the way. That should be enough to do our fields. Why would we do it that way? Whoops. Well, because um, that way it's all on the same cycle. I don't want to have to do this like three times. There goes the train, by the way. Um, I want to just do this once. And then it, and then if you do just a little bit of time, you're going to have to keep renting this over and over again. So I only rent it once. I do the whole thing. And then three or four crops later, I do it again. But I only have to rent it once each time. If you do it out of sync, then you're going to have to keep renting this thing over and over again. So that's my logic behind it. So I'm going to head home. I'll see you in a minute. And once again, I, I realized I did that kind of quick for the fertilizer. It's under fertilizing technology. I apologize. If you go into your menu, you can see it down at the bottom here. It's right there. Fertilizer technology. Um, and so that's, that's where I got this from. And once again, I just always rent this. Sometimes if you want to buy it it's a good fertilizer too um, you can use it to fertilize and to uh, spread lime if you have a cedar that doesn't have fertilizer like I do you can use it that way so uh, this is also a useful device but it is forty thousand dollars or more with the upgrades it can it can be upgraded to a pretty large one we're kind of at the medium size one here
So let's go ahead and get these fields lined, and then we'll cultivate them. I'm backing way out on the camera. You can see it goes just about the outside of that spray pattern. So Now, it's probably smarter to run this going downhill than uphill because we're going uphill right now. The tractor is running a little slower than it normally would, which means we're wasting product. Now, if you have precision farming installed, which is a mod, that will reduce that. It'll help the, the seeder will keep track of um, how much it's spraying, and it'll cut back until you're back in places where it needs it. So precision farming is definitely worth a download. Um, it is one of the mods that you can get, and it's for everybody. So the console players have it too. Uh, I would suggest if you want to play, but it does add a lot to the game. Makes it a little more difficult. Makes the fertilizing a little different too. It's no longer two types of fertilizer. It's just... Um, it fertilizes once, gets the levels up, and then from that point forward, you just add little bits of fertilizer as needed. So it's, it definitely saves you money in the game overall. But we're not using it right now because, once again, I'm assuming that you've just started playing and you really haven't done any mods yet or anything like that. So, uh, But once again, mods do. There are lots of mods that add a lot of great stuff to the game, and they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, once again, the Replenish Container is one of the ones that I recommend. Precision Farming is another one. They're all free. You don't have to pay for them. Uh, there's some great DLCs out there, too. Be sure to check out in this playlist. Um, you'll see that I also have, at the beginning of the playlist, um, a lot of videos with reviews of the DLCs and other tutorials to help you out in this game. Because it is, like I said, a very complex game. The DLCs are costing money. Almost every DLC that they've released does add at least one new thing to the game um, or one thing that does something different so it's i think they're worth it but uh, you know i'm not playing this run through with them because i know a lot of you have gotten it for free and are not wanting to pay anything for it so but uh, there are some really good dlcs out there once again i would watch my reviews and um, just kind of feel for yourself like if you if you like the game enough eh, it might be worth getting the dlcs um so you can see here, we've used about half the lime already, and I haven't done our big field yet. But we'll have some left over. So two more passes and we're done. Maybe three. And one more pass and we're done with this. Oh, somehow, oh, I pressed the time button and ended up making it so it's way later than, I don't know how I did that, but somewhere in there, I've, I'm like, man, it looks like it's afternoon, like it should be 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wait, it's 720 at night. Ah, well, we'll be fine. We haven't planted anything, so it's not going to affect our planting. And if i got to fast forward through the night to do our planting tomorrow, no big deal. Um, man, we might, we might use all of this. I don't know. It's going to be close. We're just blasting through the line. This is a nice big field. I think we're going to make some good money. I, I, I bet you we'll make thirty or $40,000 off this crop. Um, now, of course, we're way down to one twenty, but we've bought everything that we need. So, And we've taken no loans out, so that's a good thing. I'd like to upgrade to a bigger harvester. I'd like to upgrade to a case harvester since we seem to be using that brand. Uh, unfortunately, the next case harvester in this game is huge and super expensive. Uh, once again, that's where mods could come in. There's a lot of great modded case, different size case, harvester, case harvesters, John Deere harvesters, New Holland, uh, out there for you. So you can kind of pick and choose if you want a more American-style harvester and not the European New Holland starter harvester that we're using right now um it'd be nice to have a small to medium sized case harvester rather than the giant one that they have available for us 
because um, Case does make several different harvesters. So. And so, there we go. We got a little bit of lime left, but we got all of our fields done, which is great news. Uh, and so we're ready to tackle our seeding tomorrow morning and planting and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the cultivation of this field. We'll finish up the episode with that. Um, and then in the next episode, we'll, we'll sleep through the night and start fresh in the morning there. Now you can see there, I pressed the right control or the right bumper and Y and it unloaded all the lime that I had in here because I'm going to return this to the shop and I'll show you how to do that through the menu. Uh, but I don't want to lose that lime that I paid for, so I've set it there in front of my house. Uh, I will use the forklift to move it into our storage. But um, there you go. So we're going to go ahead and look into here. We're going to go in the garage and go to X leased items. You can see these are the two things that I've leased. We're going to send the breedle back, so I'm going to press A. And the breedle is now returned to the shop, and we're good. So we're done with the breedle. And so now let's go ahead and grab our cultivator, and we're going to go ahead and cultivate these fields. And then we'll go to bed for the night, and uh, in the next episode we will wake up clean, fresh, and new, and we will come out to the farm and plant. Yes, it took that long to get to this phase, but that's what I'm, this is what this game is. I mean, you're farming, so... A big part of farming is field maintenance, and we are definitely maintaining our fields here. So, Now, the nice thing about these roller cultivators is that you can run a little faster than you do with the um, deeper cultivators that have the tines on them. However, in the next version of Farm Sim, which is Farm Sim 22, uh, these will not work as well uh, as the deeper cultivators, and your weeds will come back a lot quicker if you use these. So just be aware that in this version of the game, it doesn't make a difference. So if you want to run faster, you can use these. But there will be a drawback if you're doing it in the next farm scenario. Next year, because I'm not going uphill, I'm running at 10 miles an hour, and that's pretty decent for cultivation. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And I've got... Uh, the other field I don't have to cultivate because it's already cultivated. But this field, because we did that plowing, I want to get it cultivated nice and neat. But you can see here now we have one large field, and that's awesome. It gives us probably a good 20%, 30% more growth area. So I'm happy with that. Go ahead and dig this out. And we'll just go back and forth, back and forth, until we're done. I'm just realizing I need to put dinner on. I didn't do it. <laughs> A little bit of real life there. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I will be back momentarily. I'm going to hire a worker for the time being, let him do it. He might get lost. Let's see if he can make it through our – no, he made it. Sometimes they get lost when you create fields, but he's looking like he did okay. So I will be back. I'm going to put dinner on and see where this guy's at when he's done. And then uh, we'll finish up the video. So see you in just a minute. So our helper has completed his task. I think. Nope, he got lost. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Sometimes the hired help does not get the whole field. I went downstairs to let the dogs out and put dinner in and I come back and he's not done he's mostly done but there's still some field shaving that needs to be done so we'll go ahead and nick this off and then I got to get out of here because it's getting late time for bed farmer farmer Artie Bob's Artie Bubs is tired so let me get this done and I'll be right back one thing I probably should hit with you um, how did I know this cultivator would work with this tractor? Well, just like I showed you in the specs with the cedar, how many horsepower it took, I looked this up, and I'll show you that once again once we're done here. Um, I'll show you what the cultivator takes as far as its horsepower requirements. Um, let's 
So we'll stop here, and we're gonna we're done. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off, and we're gonna uh, send it back because we're done with it for the, forever. Well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and so let's go ahead into the menu. Once again, I'm going to press Y to go to the garage. And then I'm in my leased items already. So you can see here, this is, it has a requirement. Now I have 170 horsepower. So this pushed me, a that's why going uphill, we kept slowing down. This requires 180 horsepower. So we were over just a little bit, but it's close. So I ran it anyway, um, because it's that much wider. <laughs> but uh as long as you stay off the hills, you're fine. But it really, it was overpowered for our tractor, but it's fine. Um, so that's how I decided to do that. So now we're done. We've got, oh, I forgot to return it. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, so let's go back to the garage, and we're going to go ahead and A, return this. Yep. And that's it. So we're done for the night. I'm going to take the tractor over to the house, and we're going to go ahead and get some shut-eye. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I probably should have cultivated that in, but it's okay. When we seed it, it'll get cultivated in. So, um, anyway. Uh, and we are going to go to bed now. So, basically, I click my left joystick, and it says, how many hours do I want to sleep? Well, I want to sleep for the whole night. So, we'll, if we do, I think, 14 hours, it'll take us till either 8 or 9 in the morning. So... We'll go to 12 hours of sleep, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Hopefully you're finding this useful and helpful, and I'll see you in the next exciting episode. Bye.